What's up, sixth grade? This is lesson 7A, day five. So make sure your math book is on page 80 and 81. If not, pause the video and go get your math book. So you're not allowed to use any ca a calculator for any of these problems, but here's what you're gonna do. Remember, this is the lesson right before your quiz. So this is gonna tell me what you really know. You are gonna work on one through five. So there's three on 80 and there's two on 81. So do those problems. Uh, when you're done, restart the video. Uh, then we'll go over them and see how you did. Now, I will tell you, when you get to number two, I do know I am going to estimate these first, because I don't, that's like four problems, and I don't really want to do them if I don't have to. So I'm going to try estimating quickly to see if I need to do the problem, because if the answer is not anywhere near the estimate, then I'm not even going to do it. I'll just mark false. All right, so do one through five on your own. Restart the video when you're done. Go. All right. Let's see how you did. So number one, it says Drew is thinking of a number. The number is 43,245 more than 803,792. What number is he thinking of? Well, I am going to add those, figure it out. So first, if I estimate, that's about 800,000 plus 40,000 going to be around 840,000. So it can't be A and B. It's got to be C or D. All right, ready? So 803,792 plus 43, 245. Add those. 7. Ooh, they both end in 7. 9 and 4 is 13, right? 3 carry the 1. They both end in three. Ooh, this next digit's gonna tell me. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Carry the one. Guess what? I don't need to do anymore. I know it's a D. Because I got a zero there. Now I will finish it just so you could see. Seven, four, eight, and that is D. If you had that, give yourself a C. Next, number two. So let's see if I can cut out some of these problems. So first thing I'm going to do is estimate this to about 6,000 times 400. Now, if I did that, I would just do 6 times 4 is 24. And I'd add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 million 400. All right, so that's pretty close. So guess what? I got to do that problem to see if that's true. Um, I was hoping to get out of doing that one because that one looks nasty. All right, so I'm going to do lattice for that real quick. So let me get that set up for you. Okay, so I set up my lattice. I'm hoping you did this on another sheet because I don't know if they give you enough room here. So let me start. So 28, 8, 32, 20. So if you did lattice, check your boxes. If you did traditional, you just have to wait till I add. So that's 7, 2, 8, and five, and nine times seven is 63, nine times two is 18, nine times eight is 72, and nine times five is 45. So you might wanna pause the video and check your addition box or your multiplication boxes if you did lattice. Next, I'm gonna add three. So eight and six is 14, plus seven is 21, right? The one carry the two, eight and two is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? The 5, carry the 1. 8 and 2 is 10. 11, 19, 26, 31, right? The 1, carry the 3. 2 and 3 is 5, and 5 is 10, and 4 is 14. 3 and 1 is 4, and we have a 2. So I get... 2,441,513, and that is true. That problem was a pain. All right, so next one. Let me do a little bit of estimating. Okay, so B, that's about 4,000 plus 11,000 plus 600. So that would get me 15,600. So I am thinking that is not going to be true. So because that adds up to 15,600 for my estimate, 
and that's not really close to 14,426. I'm going with false. All right, next one. If I do this one as 9,100 minus 600, that's going to get me about 8,500, and that's pretty close. So you know what? It's too close for comfort. I'm going to actually subtract that one. So 9,107 minus 641 is 6. have to do some borrowing. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 8 minus nothing is 8. And guess what? That one is true. All right, last one. Let's see if I can do a little bit of estimating. If this is 74,000 minus 9,000, that would get me 65,000. Now that's about 4,000 plus 4,000. That would get me 69,000. And that's pretty close, so I actually have to add this one up. All right, it's close, doesn't mean it definitely is it. So 74,235 minus 9,038. Okay, so let me start by doing that subtraction. 15 minus 8 is 7. 12 minus 3 is 9. 1 minus 0 is 1. 14 minus 9 is 5. And 6 minus nothing is 6. But now I need to add that with 4,286. Okay, let me add that up. So 7 and 6 is 13. 9 and 1 is 10. And 8 is 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 4 is 9. And 6. 69,483 is true. So we had three trues and a false. At least the false one, I used estimating so I didn't actually have to solve it. If you had all those right, they were a pain. Sorry about that. No, I'm not. You really had to do it. All right. Let's try number three. So it says there are 1,440 minutes in each day and 365 days in one year. How many minutes are in one year? So let me tell you this, you cannot add minutes and days and get minutes. This is not an addition problem. So this is going to be multiplication. Now I am going to do a little bit of estimating here. So first off, this, let's just say I round it to about 1,500. 365, I'm going to round that to about, I don't know, 400. Now, if I do 15 times 4, I get 60. But then I have to add 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, which gets me about 600,000. So guess what? It's not going to be 5 million. It's not going to be 20,000. It's not going to be 1,000. This is going to be C. And I used estimation to save myself a lot of time. Even, let's say, I rounded that to 1,000 times 400 and got, add five zeros, and got 400,000, you still know it has to be C because that's the only thing it's remotely close to. All right, so estimation can save you some time. All right, next page. Four. The theater department at a university is putting on a play that will run for two weekends. There were 587 more tickets sold to the showing last Saturday than this Saturday. Use this information to complete the table. Okay. So let me write some stuff down. So there were 5, or 587 more tickets sold last Saturday. So last Saturday had 587 more tickets. And that would mean this Saturday would have 587 less tickets. Alright, I'm just writing that down to help me out. 
Okay, so let's go down and look at this. So first off, this weekend, you have S Sunday and you have total tickets, right? Saturday, or last weekend, you only have total tickets. So here's what I know to start filling out the table. I know that this plus this adds up to this. So you know what that means? That means this minus this will get us this. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to do 4,428 minus 2,097. So that's one, three, three, two. So let me start by filling in some of my table. So that means this is 2,331. All right, now I'm gonna use that information I wrote down. So let's think about this. This is this Saturday, this weekend, right? And it's Saturday. All right, so this Saturday had 587 less tickets than last Saturday. Remember, that means last Saturday had 587 more tickets. All right, so last Saturday, this answer right here has to have 587 more than this. So what that means is I'm going to take 2,331 and add 587. That's eight, 11, nine, two. So I get 2,918. Now, last thing. Again, I have my total. So that means Saturday plus whatever Sunday is, if I add those, it should equal 5,182. Now remember, the inverse means if I take this and subtract this, I'll get Sunday. All right, ready? So I'm going to do 5,182 minus 2,918. Do some borrowing. 12 minus 8 is 4. 7 minus 1 is 6. 11 minus 9 is 2. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So that means I can fill in the final spot on my table with 2,264 tickets last Sunday. Ooh, that took some thinking. Did you get all three of those numbers? If you did, you're like math genius or math teacher. All right, last one, number five. Let's see how you did it here. It says, a stadium has 39 sections. Okay. There are 18 sections that have 478 seats. So right now I'm thinking 18, that's 18 of 39 sections, right? And the remaining sections have 292 seats. Okay. If 13,528 tickets are purchased to an event at the stadium, how many seats will be left empty? Holy crap. All right. Let's think about this one. I'm going to start putting my brain together. So there are 39 sections. Okay. 18 of the sections. So 18 of those have 478 seats. That's an ugly parenthesis. So 18 have 478 seats. Um, and the remaining sections each have 292. So the remaining sections, which is a question mark right now, each have 292 seats. Okay. So the first thing I, I'm going to do is I want to figure out what this question mark is. Now think about it. There are 39 sections. This is 18. So 18 plus that question mark must equal 39. So 39 minus 18 has to give us that question mark. So let me go back and fill in that part. 
So that means there's 21 sections. Okay. So now, let's think about it further. 18 sections have 478 seats each. You cannot add sections and seats and get seats. 21 sections have 292 seats. So what we need to do is we need to multiply these two numbers to get the total seats in those sections. Multiply these two numbers to get the total seats in those sections. All right, you ready? One I'll do traditional, one I'll do lattice, just for both of you. So let's try this. All right, so let me do 478 times 18. I'll do this one traditional for those of you who like that. So eight times eight is 64, carry the six. Eight times seven is 56, plus six is 62. Eight times four is 32, plus six is 38. Okay, I'm going to erase this up here so I don't get confused. And don't forget to fill in your zero. One times eight, one times seven, one times four. Add those up, four, 10, 16, 8. All right, so right here, I'm going to draw a little arrow. Those 18 sections with 478 seats in each section gives me 8,604 seats. Now, for this one, I have to do 21 times 292. Now, I'm going to do a lattice for this one. Okay, so I have my lattice set up. I didn't want to make you have to watch that. So I get two times two is four. Let me show you something cool. Instead of writing zero, four, if you want a little bit of a shortcut, you could just write four and where you would put the zero, leave it blank. Cause you don't add the zero anyway, right? So two times nine is 18 and two times two is four. And I'm gonna do that for one times two. Instead of writing zero, two, I'm gonna just write two and leave where the zero would go blank. One times nine is nine, one times two is two. Now, if that confuses you, don't do it. But it just makes it a little less cluttered when I add. So when I add, I get 2. 9 and 4 is 13. 8 and 2 makes a 10. Plus 1 is 11. 4, 5, 6. All right. So that means those 21 sections that each have 292 seats have a total of 6,132 seats. Now, let's see where we are in this problem, because I don't think we're done. So, going back here, it says, if 13,528 seat tickets are purchased to an event, how many seats will be left empty? Okay, so what we need to do is figure out how many total seats there are. So, guess what I'm going to do with these two numbers? I'm going to add those together to get the total seats in the stadium. So 8,604 plus 6,132 comes out to 6, 3, 7, 14. So these are the total seats in that stadium. But we're still not done. Because remember, 13,528 of those seats are going to be full because people bought tickets. So to figure out the ones that are empty, we have to subtract. So we are going to take, I'll switch to blue here, the 14,736 total seats in the stadium and subtract 13,528 tickets that were sold. Whatever's left will be how many seats will be left empty. And that will be our final answer. Ready? Do some borrowing. So 16 minus 8 is 8. 2 minus 2 is 0. 7 minus 5 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So in the end, there will be 1,208 empty seats. Holy smokes. That problem was complicated. Oh my gosh, my head hurts. Well, how did you do on that? Because I'm going to say those problems weren't easy. If you got some wrong, that means you're a normal sixth grader. Um, just 
hopefully you learned, pause the video to make corrections, go back and watch a video again, especially this problem. There were like 2 billion steps in that problem. Um, so if you got that right, wow. Okay. Anyway, you're done with me. Thanks for watching, guys.